How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Videos. Today I want to show you uh, Google's new updated web browser for the iPad. They've added some great um, uh, gestures and uh, new functionality that's going to make your web browsing experience a lot smoother and easier. So let me go ahead and jump into it and show you what it's all about. Um, again, it's just a regular Google app. Uh, if you go to the App Store, type in Google. It's free. And uh, you can download it um, right to your iPad. So let's go ahead and tap on there. What's cool is now you don't have to just type. You can also uh, do a voice search. So I can hit voice search. Next major holiday. And, you know, it's very responsive. It's really good with your voice. I probably threw out uh, 15 different phrases. And I think like one of them it didn't get right. So the, the voice recognition is really good. And what's cool is, let's say I hit um, this first site right here, a little tab pops over like this, which is kind of cool. And then we can just do our browsing up and down. I'm using a stylus, by the way, but you can use your finger. It works the same. So let's say we looked up a site and we're like, cool, but that wasn't what I was looking for. You can go ahead and just slide back and that page is gone. Now what we can also do, and this is one of the parts I love, is let's say if you Google something like a couple minutes ago and then you want to go back and look at it again, what you can do is you can actually uh, slide to the right, okay, and see how it says release to expose history. Um, it'll now pull up uh, the last websites that you've looked at, okay. So everything from, these are different things I Googled, to regular websites, Amazon.com, Best Buy.com. Now here's the cool part. Right now I'm in what's called Stack View. Um, I'm calling it that. It might be called something different, but what it does is it stacks the web pages together. So if you were on Amazon, you looked at multiple uh, pages on Amazon, it stacks them on to one stack. So you can kind of go through faster and look at the different sites you went to. What you can also do is go ahead and just tap on it. I'm going to tap on the Best Buy one, and now it separates the pages. I can look at every single page I went to when I was on Best Buy's website. So that's really cool. So now you can backtrack and see every single thing that you actually looked at when you were on that site. Okay, and then I can go ahead and um, tap over here, and it will actually put it back into a stack for me. So stack it back up again. Um, let me go to the Amazon one now. So these are different things I looked at. So I can tap on this site and then it opens it right up the same way I had it before so this is really cool you know sometimes you search something and then you you jump to a new page and forgot where you were at well this is great because it saves your history now and then let's say you search for something and you don't you want to erase that out of your history you don't want to erase the whole history just that one site we can go ahead and hit edit and just go ahead and erase that and now that one entry is gone I can uh, erase cars as well. So this is really cool. It just, again, um, it's almost, I would call it a smart browser because it's it's smart enough to remember the sites you went to and it gives you a nice clean layout to, um, you know, go back and find whatever you were looking at previously, okay? Let me show you a couple more things you can do. So if we go to this little wrench over here, we can actually narrow down our, our web search. So you can actually do a time search. You can search for things that have happened in the past hour, 24 hours, week, whatever. So it'll only look for things that have been posted within that time frame. Okay. What we can also do is do a, um, a result uh, modification. So you can have it just look for images, related articles. You can have it do a verbatim search. If you're looking for those exact words, you can just go ahead and hit verbatim and then it'll tailor the search to exactly what you typed in and then um, there's a little block in the corner here when we tap on that we have access to all the Google applications okay so nice little shortcut to YouTube as well it actually takes you right over that app I'm gonna jump back though and um, you know it just again makes it a lot easier especially if you use Google Calendar or Google Docs you can actually now use Google Docs on the iPad, um, you would have to log into your Google account. You sign in right here, and it'll let you use uh, Google Docs. And you can type them. You can access all your other Google Docs that you use on the website 
access them right on here, make modifications, email them. So the browser's really opened up and it's let, let you take advantage of all of Google's great um, features and apps and all that. So um, that's the applications right there. We can go to the settings to kind of change a few other things. You can use Google Goggles, which you can take a picture of something and then it'll Google it for you. So this is just a really nice browser. I'm going to show you, uh, do a voice search real fast again. Justin Bieber. So there it is. There's that. Ordinary people. See, that was a good search right there. Let's see, what else? Cars. Okay, that one was so-so. So, overall, this is a really um, beautiful browser. And I just love all the, the new things that they've added just to make it more user-friendly. And to just open up more functionality. So, um, that's my review of the new Google app. Um, again, I love it download it it's not even a new app again the app's been there forever but they just kind of updated it and made it more ipad friendly so uh hope you enjoyed that download it leave a comment let me know what you think of it and uh have a good one